So hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem rotate bits so let's read the problem statement out so we are given an integer n and an integer d rotate the binary representation of the integer n by d digits to the left as well as right and return the results in their decimal representation after each of the rotations our integer n is stored using 16 bits so 12 will be stored like this so if you observe the example here n is going to be 28 and d is going to be 2. So the binary representation of 28 in 16 bits is going to be this. If you left rotate it by 2 bits, what happens? These two zeros will come here on the right and this will be shifted towards the left and our answer is going to be 112. Right? Similarly, if we do a right rotation, these two zeros will come in the front and we will get a 111 in the right and and our number will be 7. So, I hope you have understood the problem. In the end, we have to return 112 and 7. Now, the expected time complexity for this is going to be order of 1. And the expected space complexity for this is going to be order of 1. So, I hope you have understood the problem statements. Let's discuss the problem in more detail. So, let's say our number is like this. And according to the problems, the number of rotations can be large. So, if we right rotate it, by one places what happens this one will be coming here so this number will become like this again you right rotate it this number will become like this again you right rotate it this number will become like this so this number will become like the original number right so what you observed if the length of this number is going to be n if we right rotate it by n places or if you do a left rotation by n places to get the same number right so what happens our number is represented by 16 bits hai na to agar tum 16 rotations karte ho us number pe so you will be getting the same number if you do 17 rotations that will be nothing but that will be counted as one rotation only basically one effective rotation theek hai agar tum 18 rotations karte ho so that will be nothing but two rotations theek hai because 16 तक तो cancel हो जाएगा, बचेगा क्या हमारे पास? दो rotation, ठीक है? So, we can do effective two rotations. सबसे पहले क्या step होगा? Number of rotations का mod करेंगे 16 के साथ, so we get the required number of rotations, ठीक है? Because unnecessary rotations करने से क्या होगा? हम लोग time and space waste कर रहे होंगे, right? So, I hope why we need to do this step is clear to you. Now let's move on to the rotations part. Basically, let's say if my number is like this and I need to do a left rotation. Theek hai? So, our number kya banega left rotation karne ke baad? So, let's first of all represent this bits. So, this number is going to be nothing but 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 4. So, which is nothing but 28. Theek hai? Ab, the first step is going to be you need to have this binary representation. So in order to have that, what we can do? We can do a mod with 2. So you get a 0. 28 modulus 2 is going to be 0. Now for the next time, you divide this number by 2, you get a 14. Okay. Again, you can take a modulus with 2, you get 0. So on dividing 14 by 2 for the next time, you get a 7. Take a modulo by 2, you get a 1. Divide 7 by 2, you get a 3. Take a mod with 2, you get a 1. And again, you divide 3 by 2, you get 1. You take a mod with 2, you get 1. ठीक है? तो इस तरीके से हम लोग numbers को store करके रख सकते हैं, ठीक है? And in the problem, it is given that the number will be nothing but 16 bits number, ठीक है? So, हम लोग उसे 16 bit में store करके रख सकते हैं. So, what we can do, we can declare a bits array of size 16 and you can do this process, ठीक है? मैं इसका implementation सिखाऊंगा, कैसे होगा, तो things will be more clear to you. Now, the thing was that we were discussing about left rotation, ठीक है? So, this is going to be B0, B1, B2, B3 and this will be B4, ठीक है? Now, when we left rotate it, what happens? B4 will come here, right? B3 will come here, B2, B1 and B0. Correct? 
now again you left rotate it what happens b4 will come here right so b4 b3 will come here b0 will come here b1 will come here and b2 will come here now one thing we can do instead of rotating this okay we bar bar rotation nahi karna hai. just we need to find ki rotations ke baad what will be the bit here theek hai agar wo 1 hoga so we can multiply it and get our answer agar wo 0 hoga to we will not do anything hai na so basically we need to get this bits position after the rotation so i know ki hamara yahan pe b3 hai but b3 ko find kaise karenge hai na so for that you can do nothing but let's say for this number we have considered the length to be 5 theek hai so 5 we did two rotations take a modulo with 5 we get 3 theek hai so 3 modulo 5 is going to be 3 so we get this bit position right now what we can do here you can observe ki b2 hamara kya tha 1 tha and b3 b4 was also 1 theek hai so if you do a left rotation for this number what you get you get a number like this theek hai and two zeros will be added in the right so effectively 28 will be multiplied by 4 hai na so you can now iterate on the array how can we do that simply start our iteration from since we will be having the bits stored in 16 bits array we can start our iteration like this okay and hum kitni bar left rotations karenge basically jab tak ye exhaust nahi ho jata hai na so j is going to be zero initially kyunki hame har 16 bits ke liye operations karna hai theek hai j less than 16 j plus plus and in the end i will be incremented by i plus 1 theek hai and we need to do a mod with 16 theek hai and if bits of i is going to be 1 you can store that in your answer right and let's say initially my sum is going to be 1 theek hai so let's say our number is like this so ye kya represent karta hai 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 0 is nothing but 1 so we can initialize our sum by 1 and we can add it to our answer agar 0 hai to hum log ko kuch nahi karna and we can and we can multiply that sum by 2 so this was about the left rotation guys now the right rotation is very simple let's say our number is like this b5 b4 b3 b2 b1 and b0 okay and let's say for simplicity let's take four bits only so what happens ki jab tum ise right rotate karoge ek bar to b0 will come here b3 b2 and b1 again you right rotate it b1 b0 b3 and b2 so what you observe v2 comes here but how to find this b2 just take the modulus with the length okay so basically the number of rotations you take a modulus with the length here it will come as 2 but in the original problem we have 16 bits so we will be doing the number of rotations by 16 okay so is tarike se hum log right rotation kar sakte hain again we will implement a for loop but now for the case of right rotation we will be starting with d mod 16 okay and i will be incremented to i plus 1 mod 16 every time now we need to do this for every 16 bit so our loop will be running for 16 times so for that what we can do we can have a variable j j less than 16 j plus plus okay this tarike se hum log right rotation bhi kar payenge now i hope your explanation clear hoga agar koi doubts hoga to comment section mein likh dena i will clear it out now let's discuss the implementation so first of all what we have done we have taken answer vector because we need to get the left rotation as well as right rotation we will be doing a mod with 16 because that number of rotations will be effective we have taken a bits array of size 16 because our number will be represented in the 16 bit format and these are two variables just in order to iterate now we can store the bits in this format first of all 
like for the 16 bits we need to store so we will be doing a mod bit 2 and we will be dividing n by 2 each and every time so let's say 1 1 1 is there from the right so we will be storing from the front okay and that's like that's a reverse representation basically now initially my sum is going to be 1 because 2 to the power 0 is going to be 1 itself right now left and 0 will be initially 0 now how can we start our iteration basically i know ki hamara jo left pe digit hoga that will be nothing but 16 minus d mod 16 this will be running for each of the bits so we have taken extra variable theek hai kyunki hamare paas i ko rokne ke liye koi as such condition nahi tha now i will be nothing but i plus 1 mod 16 right because we want ki hamara jo i hai wo 16 bits tak hi chale otherwise kya hoga we will be accessing that index that is not in our bounds theek hai to hamesha hame ise mod 16 karna hoga so that hamara jo i hai in bounds rahe and if my bits is going to be 1 we can just add sum to our left and sum will be nothing but sum equal to sum into 2 because next time hamara kya hoga sum will be 2 right so 1 hoga fir 2 hoga fir 4 hoga to is tarike se hum log sum ko multiply karenge every time again for the number which will be produced by the right rotation we will be doing sum equal to 1 we will be initializing sum with 1 theek hai and what i told you for right rotation we can simply get that by using the places like b2 aaya tha wahan pe to hum log ne do rotation kiya tha theek hai so i will be d we will be running it for 16 times theek hai because we need to update each of the bits now i will be nothing but i equal to i plus 1 mod 16 if that is going to be 1 my right rotation will be incremented by sum and sum will be nothing but it will be multiplied by 2 each and every time and we can push back in our answer theek hai so answer dot push back left answer dot push back right and in the end we can return our answer so effectively this is going to take a order of one time why because this is taking a constant space again this loop will be running for a constant time theek hai i is less than 16 so it is going to be constant again this will be running for 16 times theek hai this will be running for 16 times so effectively our time complexity is going to be order of one our space complexity is also going to be order of one theek hai and i hope you have understood the problems in case of any doubts write it down in the comments i will be happy to solve it just observe the observations when you do a left rotation and right rotation that will make the things more clear to you watch the explanation again if you are not able to understand that in one go okay and if you have liked this video like it subscribe to my channel we'll meet in the next video where again we will be solving some interesting problem that's all guys thanks for watching